Hi guys, today I'm going to be creating a full face makeup tutorial-ish <laughs> full face using all new products. So there are tons of new releases, um, some new products to me that I've just always wanted to try. So I have a really good range of stuff and it's all going to be all new. So um, I hope you guys are excited to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and stay to the end if you want to see like a little bitty, little bitty surprise. Um, and and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I always start off with my brows. You guys know this. A lot of times I do them off camera um, before I get started just because I feel like it gets redundant to just do my brows the exact same way every single video right off the bat. But I did see this new product from Tarte. Um, I've never seen it before. It's called the Tarte Arch Architect and it's a brow pencil and gel. So it's actually dual ended, which I thought was cool. Um, so I think we're just gonna kind of go ahead and get to it. Ooh, it actually does make it really easy to get on that arch. Then, you guys know me, I go a little crazy, but that's because um, I always go back in and clean it, ooh, or clean it up. So I'm gonna try out this Benefit Concealer. This is called Erase Paste, and it's in the shade one. This isn't new, but honestly, I've always wanted to try this and never had the chance. So, oh, look how cute the packaging is. I really like that. Whoa. I didn't know it was gonna be so, um, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's very, like, goopy, which I like. I like that consistency, because it's not drying. So, this shade is a little bit pink for me, but, um, I feel like I could still kind of work around it for this video. We'll just pretend it's a intentional pink brow bone highlight. I always feel like when I do my brows on camera, they never turn out well. Like, I feel like whenever, um... Like, when I do them, usually, because I do them before the videos start, just so I don't bore you guys. Um, and they turn out way better, so I'm sorry. It's probably not even, it's probably just me. <laughs> it's probably just me. I'm just going to brush everything upwards um, with that same Tarte product, the opposite side. And bada boom, bada bing, brows are done. I am going to actually move to eyes now because I want to get the eyes popping before we go back to the face. That's kind of what I've been doing lately for some reason. Um, sir, let, I had a primer. Also from Tarte, I'm not even planning this, but this is the Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Primer. And I love their Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing um, Face Primer. So if it's like a similar formula, whoo, I'm gonna be excited. I feel like it is. It's a little bit more lightweight, but I feel like it's like kind of the same concept. Now for eyeshadow, I am so excited. I really want to use the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette. I'm so excited to use this. Um, so I'm going to start off by just kind of setting that primer down with this shade down here. And I do this in like every single tutorial I've ever done in my life. But it's basically just to, you know, set down that primer and make sure that all of the other shades that we're going to put on top blend out really nicely. Then for my transition shade, I'm going to take this guy up here and start to just blend that into the crease, really working in windshield wiper motions. Not going to lie, pretty impressed already. Like, I don't know what it is about these shadows, but they just blend out so seamlessly and smooth. <sighs> I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, BH did a really good job on this palette, I feel, and Carly Bible. Girl! I don't know her at all, but um, she just seems awesome, and I've always watched her videos, actually, and they're, you know... They're good. They're real good. And I actually have another palette that I really wanted to try. I know these are like two separate eyeshadow palettes, but I also wanted to try another collaboration palette. So this is the I Love Setting E Times ColourPop palette, and I am so beyond excited to try this. I did swatch it on Snapchat, and they are so beautiful and pigmented. So yeah, like I said, super excited and just want to say congrats, Karen. Um, I like was so, so excited about, sh uh, about you. I was so, so excited for you when I heard that you were, you know, coming out with a collab with ColourPop because I don't know, you are like such a sweet person. I remember the first time I met um, Karen, she was legit like the sweetest person on this the face of this earth. So I became such a huge supporter after that. And obviously she's very beautiful, very talented um so she deserves the world and more and i'm so so happy that she came out with this collab and that she is you know that everyone's loving it so 
I need to try it out. So I think I'm going to deepen up the crease just a little bit more and I'm going to be using Chic Happens, this really pretty mauve matte. And like I said, literally just doing the exact same thing but bringing a little bit more mauve into the eye look. Whew. That shade. Dude, I'm legit dead off just this transition shade that I've concocted. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, you know me, I always go back in and blend out the edges with a brush that doesn't have any product on it just so that we get everything nice and smooth. And then we are going to go in with that deep wine shade, which I'm super pumped about. So this is the shade Razzy, and I'm literally just packing this on to the outer V. It is so buttery and pigmented. Like I am legitimately shook right now. Okay. Okay. We see you. I um, honestly haven't tried too many of ColourPop's press pigments. Like I've obviously tried their original formula, like the Super Shock shadows or whatever, but I really haven't tried too many of their pressed and I am so impressed right now. Then on that inner corner, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's called Lit because it's lit. Um, and I'm gonna take this one and just kinda put it onto that inner part where we don't have much shadow yet. Very impressed. Very, 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 very impressed with this. Just gotta put that out there one more time. Um, so I think for my liner, I'm gonna be trying out this one from Rimmel. This is the Color Precise Eyeliner in the shade 1 Black. And honestly, I'm more of a gel liner person, but I don't have any gel liners that I haven't tried yet because I'm like obsessed with them. So every time I, you know, buy one or get one, I'm just like, rip it open. Let me see what's in. Let's let's see what's up with this one. But um, I do have this one. So this, I think it's a felt tip or a liquid liner. Let's see. Yeah, it's a felt tip. So um, I'm kind of just going to try it out. Not bad. Um, I really like that it dries down matte. I think that's really, really nice because I'm not like a huge fan of um, shiny liner. I like it to be completely matte. So I do like that a lot. I think the applicator is okay. Um, I definitely feel like over time it would get hard to use. But you know, when, when it's new, it's not that difficult. Dude, I literally don't even know what happened, but my wings got so long so quick. Um, final thought on this, um, it's okay for me. I just wish that it was a little darker. That's the only thing. But I do usually use a gel liner and then go over it with a liquid liner. So, I mean, I like it super duper dark. That's the only thing I'm having with that one but I mean it's alright you know what I mean um, I do have this new lash curler I mean I know that like lash curler isn't like the most dire thing to have new for this type of video but I had a new one so I was like why not I'll just use it for the video so this is from Japanesque and I'm gonna be just you know curling <laughs> it like doesn't have much give I've never used a lash curler like that that like literally oh my god I just noticed there's so much fallout but at least we didn't do our face makeup yet um yeah, it's like very cushiony, if that makes sense. Look how cool the packaging is. I'm like literally obsessed with this packaging. Um, so this is the bad, Bold and Bad Big Lash. No, Bold bold and Bad Lash. And it's in the shade Bold Bad Black. So we're going to be testing this out. I've never... Wait. Oh. Whoa. That actually is really cool. So there's two wands. Okay, Mac, we see you. Um, <laughs> so there's two wands. This one looks like it's something that I'm going to like because I like voluminous wands. And then there's like this tiny wand that I'll probably use for my bottom lashes. Well, okay. I did not expect that. You know, this may not be the best time to try out this mascara just because we are going to be going in with falsies, but... Hey, but yeah, I actually do like that. I'll have to try it one day when I'm just doing like an everyday look or something with no falsies and see how it does. But my first impression is that I like it a lot. Um, I will go back in later when we do the lower and do, use that little small one because that was like such a little, little surprise for me. But um, for lashes, I saw that I have these new ones from Tarte. Um, I've never tried Tarte's lashes, so we're going to go ahead and give these a shot. This is in the style Girl Boss, and they are synthetic, so let's see if I like the way that they look. I actually like those a lot. I like... 
as I almost poke my eye out. I like that they're like a little thicker in the middle and they're actually pretty comfortable as I like just put them on. They kind of just popped on and usually when lashes are new, they're, that's when they're the hardest to apply, but I didn't have a problem. For primer, I thought I would use this one from Pure Cosmetics. This is the No Filter Blurring Photography Primer. And I think it's supposed to be good for photography, but honestly, it's the only primer that I haven't actually used yet. So this is what it looks like. Okay, looks kind of um, different. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll just take like maybe two, no, maybe I need like a full dropper. Maybe like half a dropper, I don't know this much. <laughs> I'm going to take that and just kind of put it all over my face. Ooh, I can already see it gives you a little bit of a glow. So for foundation, I thought I would use one of these guys. I don't know what, oh my God. I don't know what shade I'm going to be, but um, I have three here to try out, but this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage Foundation. You guys know I love Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I thought I would try this one out. Let's see. The shade that I am in, in like the normal double wear is tawny, but it is quite dark actually. It's like more of my tan shade and this is like just my natural color. So, I don't know. I'll try tawny out first and see how it does. Oh, I also have a little um, new foundation brush to try out. Woo! I've never tried one of these out. I know. Isn't that insane that I've never tried one of these little toothbrush um, foundation brushes out? I have tried that one that I used to clean up my brows, but I've never tried a facial one, so I'm so excited. This is from Crown Brushes, and I actually got it in my BoxyCharm box, so it says Crown times BoxyCharm. Just letting you know. Um, if you guys want to sign up for BoxyCharm, honestly, it's like a really good service or like a good monthly subscription box. I like it a lot and um, I will put a link down below for you guys, but I'm gonna just go ahead and ah! it feels so cool to use this brush. Like I'm not going to lie. Okay, honestly, this looks light. How does that work out? Cause I'm not tan right now and Tawny in the normal double wear is very, is a lot darker than this. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm a little stumped. But look at that coverage. Okay, as they water, we see you. That coverage is everything. Like, it's so beautiful. And it's actually, like, very smooth. It feels like velvet on the skin. I barely even need concealer because it, like, whew, it concealed everything. Everything. Although it did kind of also conceal my hairs right here, which... It kind of just looks like I have gray hair now, but that's okay. Um, so I am going to be using this um, Sunbeam liquid highlighter from Benefit. I have been wanting to try this for forever. Like I'm telling you forever. And I've been waiting for, oh, oh my gosh. I've been waiting for this video, but it is the most beautiful um, golden bronze highlighter I have ever seen. Like, do you see that? Do you see that? So I'm gonna just go for it. I don't know. We'll go for it. We'll go for it and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna dot it on and then go ahead and blend it in. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Look at my hairline. Oh my god, I need to like fix that. That foundation does not play. It is very, very full coverage, people. I really like that highlighter, but um, I am gonna be going in with um, concealer as well So I have a lot of the shades of the Laura Mercier candle glow concealer and highlighter never tried this out But I saw Mario like makeup by Mario using it on Kim K um, On her app. Please tell me you guys have that too Like please tell me I'm not the only one that like lives and breathes off like those little makeup tutorials on there Okay, but um, no, I um, I don't know which shade I should use because I have like five, but um, I'm gonna try out number two maybe? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this works, but he used it and it looked bomb, so I've been really wanting to try it and I think it's just fun to use. Look at that, it's like a little clicker. I feel like you always have to click so many times before it comes out and then it just like whooshes out, but we'll try this out and see. Mm. This applicator, low-key reminds me of um the maybelline age rewind like you know that the one the one that i like the instant age rewind concealer that's what this reminds me of <laughs> do i sense a dupe 
I can already tell it's not going to be a full coverage concealer at all. Um, it seems very, very lightweight, which, I mean, honestly, for me, today it's alright because that foundation is already so full coverage. Usually I wouldn't want a, like, super full coverage concealer as well because that's where you start to get a little cakey. So you kind of want to balance it out with, you know, a lighter weight concealer, which, honestly, this is turning out to be perfect. <laughs> Look how glowy and, like, it doesn't look cakey or creasy at all. It's just very, very lightweight. And I think especially over top of a foundation that actually has really good coverage, this is like a beautiful combo. Okay, this is turning out to be a very successful first impressions. Um, I feel like whenever I do full face first impressions, I'm always like slightly scared on the inside because you never know how it's going to turn out because you don't know how the products work or anything. But honestly, not mad about it today. Before we go ahead and set that down, I am going to try some cream contouring. Um, so this is the BH Cosmetics Cream Contour Palette. I don't have any new, oh no, I do have one new powder contour too. Ooh, which one should I use? I'll go with the cream contour just because I rarely do cream contouring. So, you know, it might be a little different for me or a little, you know, a little bit more interesting for you guys. So I think I'm going to take this shade right here. They look a little bit like they've been I don't know, there's a little condensation on it or something, but that's okay. I guess we'll just dig in. I'm always like slightly scared of cream contouring because I like, really don't do it that often, but we'll go for it. Why is it so dark? I think there was something on this brush. Right after I said that the first impression was going well, obviously, you know, I had to go go and jinx myself. So I don't really know what to do at this point. I gotta even this out, you guys. I know I'm still using the same shade, but it's gonna look weird if I, like, don't use this now. But you know me. I like to add in some contour over here. Ooh, it's way too dark. Way too dark. I like to actually take a little bit of, like, some sort of oil or serum, which I've never used this before either because this is, you know, brand new. Everything's new. But this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drop. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it onto my brush just so it is, um, you know, easier to blend out. Like that oil will make it really, really easy to blend out this color. And I feel like that's really important for me today because I decided to use a dirty brush that had a bit of black on it, so. Okay, I think I'm gonna go over that with foundation just to try to do some damage control. But like I say, in almost all of my videos, it's just makeup. Okay, so this foundation does oxidize, which was good for me because obviously it was too light at first. So yeah, Tawny, if you're, the shade Tawny in the normal double wear, probably, you're probably going to be the sa same, oh my gosh. Um, if you're the shade Tawny in the normal foundation, the normal double wear, you're probably still gonna be Tawny. So that's good to note. See, something good does come out of messing up sometimes. Okay, honestly, once I blend it out, it's not that bad, actually. It looks really, really natural because it has that really cool tone to it. But again, I do not know why that happened. I Like, it has to be because of the foundation for some reason. I have one new setting powder that I could try out for this video. So this is from LA Girl, and it's the Pro Powder. Um, like I said, obviously, I've never used this, so I don't know. I feel like some setting powders, this is going to require some work. It looks like it's going to be really, really thin and fine which you guys know honestly isn't really my jam I like it to have like a little bit more grit and thickness if you're looking for a baking powder this probably isn't going to be what you're looking for because you can see it just kind of like sinks into the skin right when you apply it but I do I am so excited for this I do really want to try out this pop beauty um velvet powder base just that name in itself is everything it just speaks to me so this is like one of their new powder foundations and I'm gonna use this to set the rest of my face and also blend out that setting powder and I am using the shade for Ole or Olat I don't really know how to pronounce that but whoo I like it I like it a lot it is very soft it has a super soft finish to it has nice coverage from what I can see I'm liking that yes pop come through I love that powder I'm gonna put that out there. Really, really like this stuff. Um, I just, yeah, it's not cakey. It just like blended out nicely. Love it. Um, so I'm, I'm mm, I am gonna be using the same product, but in a different shade. So this is six cinnamon, and I'm gonna use this to bronze. You guys know I do this quite often actually, where I use like powder foundations to bronze because I just like the effect. So I'm gonna take this on my bronzing brush and bronze it up. 
oh my god i'm like legitimately so impressed with this powder for a pressed powder it like it's so soft and silky i'm like i'm shook shook right now so i'm gonna go back into the i love set of e times color pop saucy palette and just kind of finish off the eyes so i'm gonna take a mixture of she cabins and lit and just place that under the eyes i'm first taking lit and kind of just smoking it out and then i'll take uh sorry i'm first taking shiki on or she happens wow i am so bad at these names right now but i'm first taking she happens on a fluffier brush and kind of blending that into the lower lash line then i'll go back in with lit on a more defined pencil brush and just add a little bit of that one and i definitely feel like we need um a liner like uh just on the waterline for this one so i'm gonna pick up this tardis double take eyeliner and oh yeah this one is actually like um it's a pencil or like yeah i think it's a pencil it's like kind of like a coal like a more gel like coal and then a felt tip liner on the end but obviously we're gonna use this guy for today and i'm hoping that it's gonna be really nice and black i like that I like that a lot taking that same mascara i mean i guess i'll go ahead and try this little guy up here that surprised me earlier um and we'll see how it goes i'm guessing this is for the lower lashes or maybe this is just for detailing because i'm not getting like too much product out so i think i'm gonna go back to that voluminous one but i like a like a lot of bottom lashes so maybe that's just me i think i'm gonna be going in with this guy so this is new from violet voss and it's their pro highlighter palette rose gold um let's see which one should i use as you can tell i have swatched these on step out but i actually haven't used them on my face um i think i'm gonna take a mixture of these two bloom and fleur so honestly that highlight palette is super duper pigmented which i like but the thing is um honestly i'm not like that into like cool tone or pink toned highlighters i'm more of like a warm tone golden bronze kind of girl you guys know me but obviously this palette is going to be all pinky tones just because it is the rose gold palette um which i think is beautiful and i think it makes a pretty palette but for my personal preferences like this isn't really something that i would gravitate towards on a normal basis just because i love my goldens but um if you do like pink tone highlights i think this would be an awesome palette because obviously it is very pigmented and very buttery but i'm gonna add some nose contour i did highlight the nose but i haven't contoured it so i'm gonna go back into the tarte um clay play palette and take a little bit of this shade right here called terracotta and do a little bit of nose contouring Ooh, honey yes tart we see you this is like the perfect shade for my nose contour because i don't like it to be like too dark or too light i like it to be just right like go relax i always like to go back in and like blend out the nose contour with a bit of a fluffier bl bl brush um just so it doesn't look patchy because for some reason my nose like doesn't really take product well like it will look patchy okay dude that nose contour though I'm impressed, not gonna lie. For my highlighter, or sorry, not highlighter, my blush, um, I'm gonna dig into this Japanesque palette. It's a full face palette, so it does have like some bronzer, contour, and highlight shades, but these are all blushes. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this guy right here and just pop this onto the apples of the cheeks. It looks really pigmented just from like my first little pickup of the product, but let's see. Ooh, that's super pretty. Lip time, and I'm gonna be using the I Love Seta E Times ColourPop Lip Liner. And this is in the shade, or this is the lippy pencil in the shade 951. So we'll see how it goes. Ugh. ColourPop's lip liners are actually really good. I always forget how much I like them until I use it again. For my lip color, I really want to try out this new liquid lipstick from Rimmel London. I feel like I never find good drugstore liquid lipsticks, so we'll see. So this is in the shade Be My Baby 700, and I'm just going to apply it inside the lines. Okay, that color though... Okay, Rimmel, we see you. It feels really nice on the lips so far too. Like, just off of the first impression, it's, like, very, very lightweight. Um, 
I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit because I went a little crazy, but I will be right back. Bro, legit, I am so impressed with this lip, like the Rimmel London liquid lipstick. I have seriously never found a drugstore liquid lipstick that's like, feels nice on the lips. Like this feels so luxurious. It almost feels like I put on a high-end lipstick or liquid lipstick, I should say, but I'm in pressed with a little two syllable conjunction. Um, the last step is just going to be to set down our makeup and I did find one setting spray that I hadn't used yet. This is from Pop Beauty. It's the Makeup Magnet Mist. So let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, it smells super minty. I could see how this could be very refreshing. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's our full face done using all new products. Honestly, I'm pretty darn impressed with most of the products besides our little contouring snafu there in the middle. But um, yeah, I think that you know the look turned out pretty good. I think I am most impressed with this lipstick. Like never in my life have I used a drugstore liquid lipstick that is such good quality. So I'll have to try out a lot more of the shades because I'm impressed. I have to say, I'm very, very, very impressed. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to, oh my God, I almost forgot to show you guys my little surprise for you. So I wanted to do another giveaway. So today I'm actually gonna be giving away three of the Dior highlighters, which are actually one of my favorite highlighter formulas. They're so beautiful, so I've shade two, three, and four. So these are the newer shades to the collection that Dior has. Um, and yeah, it's going to be my little treat to you guys or to one of you guys. Um, and I've been doing so many giveaways, like I'm pretty much in every single video lately just because I have so much makeup that I want to give back to you guys and I can give back to you guys, so why not? So to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and... Honestly, like I'm having trouble thinking of questions now just because I've been doing so many little giveaways. So for this one, maybe just like make sure you're subscribed and then follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And Instagram is just at Roxanarisa, Snapchat is Rox93. And then comment down below when you're done, just saying, you know, I'm done or whatever. Um, and then I'll try to think of better questions for next time because usually it's just like a question of the day, which I like because it gets conversation started and then I get to like know more about you guys and stuff, which I love but yeah so that is going to be it for this video now and I will list all the products that I use down below as much as I can um, hopefully all of them are released I know some of them are not released yet that I got in PR but hopefully I can list you know the release date and everything for you guys and that is going to be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed remember you are beautiful inside and out love you so much and I'll see you next time